With many businesses still closed because of the pandemic, many graduates are having a tough time finding a job. WTVA Sydney Darden spoke with one student about how she's staying strong through her job search. Uh, it was extremely hard. For Christina Moffitt, the road to graduation was filled with challenges. I ain't gonna say 10 times, probably five times harder, but. First, the challenge of wading through biomedical engineering. A lot of us, you know, have been in school for a while. Sometimes engineer majors are in school five, six years, you know, not the regular four. Then she had to do it all during a national health crisis. Especially with the COVID-19, with engineering since it's so hard and difficult, you really lean on your peers most of the time, you know, help you with understanding a lot of the senior core curriculums. But after graduating in May, Moffitt now faces her biggest obstacle yet, finding a job during one of the nation's worst economic crises. It's a very discouraging environment right now, considering how COVID's really just shut down like your main revenues of you know receiving a job. According to the Mississippi Department of Job Security, the state's unemployment rate jumped to 15.4 percent in April after the coronavirus forced many businesses to close their doors. And nationally, another 1.8 million Americans filed for unemployment in just the last week. With many companies still on a hiring freeze due to the pandemic, Moffitt and thousands of other graduates are now competing for the few spots that are still hiring. As far as, you know, employing people, it's still mostly send a resume in and, you know, hope that you get picked through the thousands of other resumes. But through the countless hours of editing her cover letters, Moffitt is staying strong. Yeah, this is different. <laughs> Definitely different, but I'm up for any challenges, you know. In Starkville, Sydney Darden, WTVA 9 News. According to economy experts, the job market is bound to get worse before it gets better. A report from CNN says that the unemployment rate could rise to 20% in the next month. That would put unemployment numbers in the same territory as the Great Depression, when the unemployment rate peaked at an estimated 24.9%.